All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the second match here with Jeskai Aggro. Uh, yeah, we won the die roll. Let's go ahead and play first. Um, yeah, that's aggressive on the play. Yeah, I'm a big fan of this hand. Um, here, I think I'll just go ahead and lead on the old Swift Spear. Opponent Mulligan to six, unfortunately for them. Um, let's see, they did scry to the top, though. This could be humans. Um, Serum Visions, kind of, uh, like, Secret Coast Visions could either be uh, Ad Nauseum, could be uh, maybe Blue-White Tempo or Control. Lotus Bloom, alright, so it's definitely Ad Nauseum. Uh, alright, so we gotta get aggressive here. Apply pressure, because um, we don't play counter spells. So here we're hoping to hit a, a third land on top of our deck. Um, not a third land, but we did get another Swift Spear, so I'm actually going to go ahead and bottom bottom. Play old Swifty. Alright, I'm not sure how good the Ad Nauseam matchup is going to be game one. Um, on the play definitely helps. Our opponent mulliganing definitely helps. Um, but of course, Ad Nauseam is, is a turn... You know, turn... Potentially turn uh, blah, blah, something deck. Turn turn three, turn four deck. Nah, I think they're turn mostly turn four. Um, let's go ahead and helix here. Get in as much damage as possible. Unfortunately, we did not hit another land. Record. One oh, buddy. They might be 4-0, which is why they're asking. Because sometimes the Magic Online pairings can be really weird. Yep, Unlife, definitely not something we wanted to see. Oof, um, so... Wow, this is, this is getting rough not hitting our land at this point. So, we obviously are going to attack. The question is, are we bolting? Because if we bolt, our opponent goes to 6, then to 2, and then we get him down to 0. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and bolt. Opponent goes to 2. That means next turn... Um, we can get them down below Frexian mana. Um, the issue is now they have Lotus Bloom coming off. And there's not much we can do about um, an Ad Nauseum right now. Yeah. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and... Oh, I'm going to let them go ahead and do the combo. Um, just, just so we can see their deck, just to make sure they're not playing anything like weird. But as you saw, turn four deck, right? We had no interaction. We applied a clock. Um, we were a turn five kill. Um, they were a turn four kill. All right. So lab maniac, lightning storm, one semen spirit guy, two semen spirit guy, three semen spirit guy. So they definitely have the kill. Um, they have a spoils. Um, making sure there's nothing crazy in their deck list here. All right, nothing crazy. Let's go ahead and scoop it up and go to the next game. All right, so for this matchup here, uh, we're going to want quite a few things. We're going to want Molten Rains. We're going to want uh, Stony Silences. We're going to want Wear Tears and Dispels. All of these cards seem to be good to me. Um, we're going to want our more aggressive cards here. So uh, Vapor Snag, definitely not where we want to be in this matchup. Um, I even think there's an argument for cutting some number of Snapcaster Mages because they're just a bit slow. Um, Hazard's also a little bit slow. Um, you want to apply pressure quickly. Alright, and we need to make three cuts here, right? So, uh, Mutagenic Growth I think is okay in this matchup. Hazard just might be way too slow. It might just be sitting in our hand quite dead. Um, Snapcaster Mage is extra copies of Dispel or Wear Tear, which is... I'm um, not too irrelevant here. Um, maybe we do just trim like a mutagenic and maybe like, yeah, let's just trim a muta two mutagenics. Um, 
And I think this should be a decent enough configuration. Um, as aggressive as I'm willing to get, but also maintain, um, you know, our aggressiveness, our uh, our low curve, I think is going to be really important. So I, I definitely don't think this is a hazard matchup um, at all. Would you like to play first? Yes. Um, yeah, uh, this is a keeper to me. Uh, looks like we got Serum Visions into Stony Silence or Storm Chaser Mage. Um, play line. Okay. Um, <laughs> there goes all of our burn, right? Um, so let's go ahead and bottom Helix. Uh, I guess we can top Serum Visions. Uh, Dispel's a nice pickup here. Sure. So the question is, do we want to get Storm Chaser Mage out before we get um, Stony Silence? And I think we do. I think we do want to start applying a clock here. Um, I think in this case, we actually want to get a, a Hollowed Fountain. Red, blue, Storm Chaser Mage. It's so one damage, but um, it's something, right? So hopefully my opponent has like a Pentad Prism. What? Pressing on life. Okay, sure. Interesting use of my opponent's mana there, that's for sure. Um, again, opponent still has no fast mana, so I don't really feel like I need to run out the Stony Sounds yet. I think just a turn three Geist... With Stony and the spell backup might just be okay enough. Um, not sure though. Definitely not getting any of our like nutty draws here or anything. Although, again, a lot more than I can really ask for in a lot of different matchups. Dreadship Reef. Okay, so here is where we start applying a lot of pressure. Go ahead and, and lead off of Serum Visions here. Oh, yeah, we don't want those lands, obviously. Um, the issue... So, I think I want to keep up the spell for this turn. Um, just because... Uh, my opponent going like Simon Spear Guide into Ad Nauseum um, is definitely something I want to play around. Opponent's going to load up their Dreadship Reef here, which makes sense. So they can pay one to remove one, so it's kind of fixing, right? So again, uh, with my opponent's willingness to use a Simeon Spear Guide there, it almost feels like they have another one. So here, let's go ahead and just start um, with the Serum Visions. Um, bottom, top, uh, and here, what's nice with this line is that I'm going to get my opponent below a certain life total. Um, the question is, do I want to hit the Dreadship Reef? I think I do. Again, keep my opponent off of mana here, I think is going to be pretty good. It just buys us a lot of time. Our opponent's going to go below. Okay, so they're not going to go below. And we obviously can't respond to that. So that's definitely a little annoying. Maybe a potential reason to hold the Molten Rain, but I like that Molten Rain um, keeps them back for quite a bit here. No land for my opponent is a great sign when we have the spell backup. White, blue. Um, let's just keep going. If my opponent just has to keep burning um, Angel's Graces, then I'm okay with that. Alright, looks like our opponent is officially um, below Frexian Unlife. And here we just have to hope we dodge like a land and or land ad nauseum pact of negation. Because um, we do have exactly 10 damage on board here. 
um, which should lead to exactly 10 infect. And awesome, we take it to the next game here. Interesting. So, I mean, I do think Stony is good, but is it better? Is is three Stony better than two Mutagenics? And I think so. I think our configuration is quite solid here. Obviously, Leyline is pretty annoying against some of our burn, and maybe as a hedge towards Leyline, we just play a Mutagenic because they don't interact with our with our creatures all that well. Um, so maybe let's just hedge, right? Um, yeah. All right. Cross our fingers. Let's see if we can take it home against uh, Ad Nauseam here. Um, yep, uh, looks like a keeper to me. Right, we're going to have turn one Serum Visions, turn two Storm Chaser or Stony, depending on how our opponents draw lines up. If you know they suspend a Lotus Bloom or go Pentad Prism on turn two, then obviously I'm probably going to lead on Stony Silence. But we have two of our great, uh, really proactive three drops here, which means that turn three and on, we can apply a lot of pressure. Interesting if we draw like a Swift Spear on turn one, if we cast it. I think I do. And I think my opponent's thinking here, do they mulligan into a Ley Line? Um, and looks like they just decided to keep their hand. So turn one, we'll probably go ahead and go uh, Steam Vents, Serum Visions. See how our opponent. So our opponent scribed something to the top, something to the bottom. Okay. Lotus Bloom. Oh, sweet. Okay. So here, I think I'm actually. Yeah, let's. I think we still go Steam Vents. Um. Actually, we might go Hall of Fountain such that we don't screw up our scry if we want to double scry to the top. Yeah, I actually like getting Hall of Fountain here. Um, lands, mutagenic growth. Uh, mutagenic growth is kind of a lightning bolt that's not affected by ley line. Obviously, there's no ley line here, but um, I do kind of like mutagenic growth. I, I think it's. Actually, is it what I need right now, though? I actually, I'm actually i actually not sure on that. I think I'm, I'm going to bottom. I think I'm going to look for interaction, things like wear tears, um, things like dispels, things of that nature. Sweet, wear tear, exactly what we want to see here. Um, and now I think I'll just go ahead and get Stony Silence out. And if our opponent goes Phyrexian Unlife, we can go Storm Chaser plus Wear, which would be a pretty good line from us, I would say. If our opponent doesn't do any of that, then we'll just jam a 3-drop. Now, obviously, Ad Nauseam is a very powerful deck. It's going to do some nutty things. Um, so we just have to hope that our opponent does not have that many nutty things to do. Um, especially because we're on the draw this time. Okay, our opponent goes sleight of hand. Um, definitely what I like to see here. Um, and in that case, I think I'm just going to go ahead and get down Geisa Saint Trap. I think it's going to be the card that applies the most damage over the longest, over the uh, shortest period of time. Again, this is more or less the, the exact curve that we want to see, right? Um, one drop, two drop, three drop. Um, Lotus Bloom. It's a dead card due to Sony Silence. So is any of their future um, artifacts. It'll be interesting to see if they do have um, Phyrexian Unlife here. Bantu's Last Reckoning. Super interesting. All right. So we get, we're a little punished for not... Uh, For not playing the Mantis Rider out, I think. But at the same time, uh, we're in a pretty fine fine spot. Especially because our opponent's lands aren't going to untap. So Bontus is a really interesting card. You don't usually see that. Uh, white. Blue. Okay, so our opponent is interacting with us. We're interacting with our opponent here. Oh. 
Do they have fifth land, sixth land? No. Wow. Um, I think we go ahead and hit the... This is tough. I, th I definitely want to keep the City of Brass around. So I think I hit the Temple. And then we want to keep up... Um, uh, tear in case we need it for whatever reason. Okay, so we're definitely drawing our sideboard cards here. Our opponent not hitting a fifth land was insane for us. And it'd be interesting to see uh, what my opponent does here. Looks like they're just passing. Wow. Um, here, I think I'm just going to go ahead and jam jam some creatures. So, uh, Storm Chaser Mage. <laughs> the three. I think it's cursed. Yeah, that's possible. Um, and here, if our opponent has an Angel's Grace, uh, they can go ahead and burn it if they wish. Got two Prowess Triggers on the stack here. Sure. Our opponent's still going to be dead next turn, though, which is great for us. Go to one. Interesting that they didn't use the City of Brass there, right? Because the trigger... Slide of hand, sure. So now they're more or less in the abyss, right? They need to hit land, angel's grace, land, angel's grace here. And our opponent concedes. Awesome. 2-0 with Jeskai Aggro. Uh, beating Ad Nauseam in three games. Sweet. Anyways, thanks so much for watching, guys, and stay tuned for the third match with Jeskai Aggro. I'll see you guys soon.